it's a big week in college football. Some of the biggest games of the year and so many big time matchups in the trenches. This is the perfect week to scout Chicago Bears targets. Ryan Poles has to be excited for today's matchups. For Bears fans looking for offensive linemen and edge rushers, today's game should not disappoint. Let's go ahead and get right into it. First, let me cover the best games to watch today. Then I will break down the must-watch games quickly and my favorite draft targets. Early games, we don't have the big-time matchups early, but a couple of games to keep an eye on. You have South Carolina at Alabama, a chance to check out Bama's center, Parker Brelsford, and Washington at Iowa. My sleeper is Iowa's center, Logan Jones. Or if you want to check out one of the best receivers in the nation, Missouri's Luther Burden is playing early as well. But then we get to the afternoon games, and this is where it becomes must-see TV. Two of my four big-time matchups of the day. You have number one Texas at number 18 Oklahoma, and number four Penn State traveling to USC. A couple of other afternoon games as well, but then my other big-time games are at night. 6.30 Central, number 2 Ohio State against number 3 Oregon, and number 9 Ole Miss at number 13 LSU. I'm going to talk about each one of those four big time games, but also if you're up late, and I always am, even though the Bears play early tomorrow, you can check out two of the most electrifying players in the nation. Travis Hunter plays at 9.15, and my favorite running back, Boise State's Ashton Genty, will keep me up late. He kicks off at 10 o'clock. But focusing on our four biggest matchups today, I want to quickly cover the draft targets to keep an eye on in these four big-time matchups. First up is number one, Texas, against number 19, Oklahoma. This game kicks off at 2.30 Central. Texas will be getting quarterback Quinn Ewers back in this one, so no more Archie Manning, but Texas has one of the top left tackle prospects in the draft. If you haven't seen him yet, check out Kelvin Banks Jr. Both of Texas's guards and their center should get drafted next year as well. Their whole offensive line is stacked. They have one of the best in the country, and Ryan Poles could very well be at this game today. And then on Oklahoma's side of the ball, they have two wide receivers to keep an eye on as well. But then I'll talk quickly about USC versus Penn State, a game that is on at the same time. USC has my favorite center in the draft, Jonah Monheim. I watch him every week, but they also have stud freshman receiver Zachariah Branch, one of the two 17-year-old wide receivers that are tearing up college football. But Penn State has two of my favorite edge rushers who should both get drafted early next year as well. Abdul Carter is a guy to watch, and so is Danny Dennis Sutton. And then I also love their running back, Nicholas Singleton. But then the two prime time matchups are this evening. Both games have big time matchups in the trenches. Ryan Poles could be at either one of these games. Ole Miss has stud pass rusher Princely Umana Malayan, who will be taking on two of the best tackles in the draft. LSU has top-rated left tackle Will Campbell and stud right tackle Emory Jones Jr. No matter where Princely lines up, it'll be a primetime matchup in the trenches every single time LSU has the ball. Ole Miss also has a second pass rusher that should be drafted as well in Jared Ivey, meaning you have two great edge rushers against two of the best tackles in the draft. I love it. But the problem is, at the same time as my game of the week, number two Ohio State against number three Oregon on the road. This is a primetime Big Ten matchup and one of my most anticipated games of the year, and it also features so much talent in the trenches. Ohio State probably has the best edge rusher duo in the nation. Both guys should get drafted high next year. Jack Sawyer and JT Tui Malowau, and they have a stud defensive tackle, Tyleek Williams, as well. But this is the best part. Ohio State's stud edge rushers going against Oregon's two stud offensive tackles. Oregon also has two bookend tackles. Not quite as highly rated as LSU's, but potentially the second or third best tackle duo in the nation. Both of these guys will be drafted next year. 
So again, two stud edge rushers against two top tackles, a battle in the trenches. But I've told you guys before, Ohio State is just loaded with NFL draft talent. From the other 17-year-old freshman phenom, wide receiver Jeremiah Smith, to an abundance of talent in the trenches, they also have left tackle Josh Simmons, left guard Donovan Jackson, center Seth McLaughlin, and two of my favorite running backs in the draft, Quinshawn Judkins and Travion Henderson, the best one-two punch at running back in the nation. Both of these guys will be drafted. But on Oregon, you have to watch out for Jordan Birch. He's a defensive end, but he can play anywhere on the line. He is an absolute monster, and both of these teams are strong in the trenches. I will be watching both of these games tonight, Ole Miss at LSU and Ohio State against Oregon. If I take a nap today, it'll happen early because the games kicking off this evening are must-see TV for all of college football fans and draft enthusiasts alike. And then for the people that are staying up late, you have the electrifying Travis Hunter and Ashton Genty. But my must-see games this week are for good football play in the trenches. I'm super excited for this one. It's a big day for scouting some of my favorite targets in the draft. I appreciate everyone who watches. Please let me know if there are any players out there that you're keeping an eye on. Remember to hit that like button for me. Stay tuned. I have my early edge rusher rankings for next year's draft coming as well. And I dropped my all 22 on Caleb Williams last night. So until next time, bear down.